Now let's move to the next section, which is section 3. This section has questions which are numerical value type question. This is the first question of this section which says among B2 H6, B3 N3 H6, N2 O, N2 O4, H2 S2 O3 and H2 S2 O8. The total number of molecules containing covalent bond between two atoms of the same kind is. Let us draw these structures. First of all, we have B2H6. In B2H6, we have banana bonds. So, these are the banana bonds. This is B2H6. Second is B3N3H6. This is B3 N3 H6. Third is N2O. This is N2O. Fourth is N2O4. This is N2O4. Then we have H2S2O3. H2S2O3 H2S2O8 This is H2S2O8. So, we can see here we have bond between oxygen and oxygen. Here we have bond between sulfur and sulfur. Here we have bond between nitrogen and nitrogen. Here we have bond between nitrogen and nitrogen. In these two options, we do not have bond between same type of atoms. So, the correct answer for this question will be 4. Hence, we will write the answer as 4.00. Now, let us move to the next question. This is the next question we have. It says, at 143 Kelvin, the reaction of XCF4 with O2F2 produces a xenon compound Y. The total number of lone pair or pairs of electrons present on the whole molecule of Y is. Let us solve this question. If I talk about XCF4, if it reacts with O2F2 at 143 Kelvin, it will give us XCF6 plus O2. Now, let us draw the structure of XCF6 which is disordered octahedral. So, we can write XCF6 as this. All fluorine atoms will have three lone pairs. So, 18 lone pairs on fluorine atoms 
and one loan pair on Xenon. So total 19 loan pairs. And the correct answer for this question will be 19.00. Now let's move to the next question. This is the next question we have where it says scheme 1 and scheme 2 describes the conversion of P to Q and R to S respectively. Scheme 3 describes the synthesis of T from Q and S. The total number of bromine atoms in a molecule of T is. Students here we have scheme 1 which has a number of reactions. Then we have scheme 2 which has also a number of reactions. Then we have scheme 3 where we have S which reacts with NaOH and then Q to give us T. We have to find the number of bromine atoms in T. So first of all let us write the reactions of scheme 1. Here we have aniline, it reacts with bromine water in excess. This is aniline, it reacts with bromine water and it is in excess. So, all ortho and para positions will be substituted with bromine. This will be 246 tribromoaniline. Now, in the second step, we have NaNO2 with react with HCl. NaNO2 with HCl at 273 Kelvin. Diazotization takes place, and this is the product formed. Here we have N2 plus Cl minus bromine, bromine and here also we have bromine. Now next step is we have CuCN, KCN then hydrolysis. Here we have CuCN, KCN. So cyanide gets attached to the place of N2Cl then it is hydrolyzed Now, in the last step we have SOCl2 in pyridine and we are getting Q as the major product. In this we are adding SOCl2 with pyridine. This is COCl formed Br br and this is br so we have q here this is q from scheme 1 now let's talk about scheme 2 here we have benzene which reacts with oleum and then noh it is heated then it is acidified so in these three steps we will get phenol Oleum gives us SO3H, then NaOH and heating and then H plus gives us phenol. Phenol when reacts with Br2 in carbon disulfide at low temperature, it will give us para bromophenol. So let us write the reaction. Scheme 2. Now in scheme 2 we have benzene. It reacts with oleum, sulfonation takes place, then 
then it reacts with NaOH heated and then we have H plus gives us phenol. Now this phenol reacts with bromine in carbon disulfide at low temperature giving us para bromophenol. Now this product according to the reaction is S. Now let us talk about scheme 3. In scheme 3 we have para bromophenol. Now this reacts with NaOH phenoxide ion will be formed. Now this reacts with Q. This reacts with Q. This is Q. Nucleophilic addition of carbonyl takes place, then elimination of chloride ion will take place, giving us the product T. So, what is the product T? Here we have bromine, then oxygen, C double bond O. Br, Br and Br. So, this is the product T. Now, let us count the number of bromine atoms in product T. We can see 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, there are 4 bromine atoms present in the product T. Hence, the correct answer for this question will be 4. Now let us move to the next question.